this first Ezra 4 and 20 through 27 it says a man leaveth his own father that brought him up in his own country and cleaveth unto his wife and he sticketh not to spend his life with his wife and remembereth neither father nor mother nor country but by this also ye must know that women have dominion over you do you not labor and toil and give and bring all to the woman yea a man taketh his sword and goeth his way to rob and to steal to sell upon the sea and upon rivers and looketh upon a lion and goeth in the darkness and when he hath stolen spoiled and robbed he bringeth it to his love wherefore a man loveth his wife better than father or mother yea many there be that have run out of their wits for women and become servants for their sakes many also have perished have erred and sinned for women I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the elect and much respect to the brothers pushing his word in the four winds of the earth. And shalom to you, few sincere sisters out there as well. It's Brother Ariyah coming at you with another lesson here. Yeah, yeah, you saw that little clip, that little clip there, man. I don't know, maybe he was. A Moabite, an Ammonite, I don't know. But he's definitely from the, you know, of the Asian persuasion. <laughs> and, um, you know, <laughs> you saw the, you know, what it said or whatever. You know, he ran through a damn uh, mall because his girl broke up with him, man. You know, and shit, I've seen a lot of men uh, lose their minds over losing a woman, man. Not eating, not taking showers, not taking care of themselves. Just letting themselves go, you know, just doing too many drugs, drinking too much, you know, a lot of things. Just over losing one woman, man, you know, which shows, uh, you know, a lack of confidence and a lack of uh, self-love, man, you know. And uh, I could say for myself, I, I went through that over one woman in my life. And that was the last time that I ever, you know, allowed myself uh, to go through something like that never you know to the point where i want to drive through a mall <laughs> and you know endanger others you know and do damage the property that i gotta pay for once i get out of jail you know but yeah man if you're not uh 10 toes down you know a woman will will definitely hit you where it hurts and it'll take a long time uh for you to uh, recover from that, man. You know. Let's get uh. Let's get Proverbs six. Let's get thirty four. Let's get thirty uh. Thirty four and thirty five. And it says, uh, for jealousy is the rage of the man; therefore, he will not spare in the day of vengeance. And he will not regard any ransom, neither will he rest content, though thou givest many gifts. You know, a lot of a lot of women out here will stir up jealousy, you know, in a man, you know, which really is a female trait, you know, being jealous. You know, he's probably losing it because he already knew that his woman was with was with another man. You know, if that occurs, that that just gives you, you know, all of the uh all, all the things that you need to know that you need to leave that woman alone so it's easier for me you know for a woman because i went through that as well you know but women do that then you already know that's it's a wrap there's no need to uh you know go out of your wits for a woman and do something that could potentially you know hurt you for the rest of your life you know a lot of these dudes out here be bugging over that box man you know and they don't even realize that that's not even your woman, man. It's just your turn. You know? It's just your turn. A lot of men don't realize that, though, man. Let's get Proverbs 16.32. And it says, He that is slow to anger is better than the mighty, and he that ruleth his spirit than he that taketh the city, man. So, you know, being in the truth, 
that's one of the things you know that I've learned is to rule my spirit certain things that I would get very angry about now I'll just let it slide you know because you know in this walk man there's a lot of things that we're gonna go through and we're gonna have to handle it differently than we would when we were in the world man and that shows growth and that shows uh, shows wisdom you know and uh yeah we're gonna be tested definitely gonna be tested man you know i told y'all before i was working in a job was pretty much all women so i knew this was a test from the heavenly father because there's a particular woman there or actually two women there they both married though but they be flirting with me crazy you know trying to throw throw the you know throw the box at me or whatever and i know they got men you know what i'm saying and um <clears throat> you know every day man i gotta you know deflect the advances man you know it's constant it's every day so it's, it's always uh flirting or something you know what i'm saying calling me out my name you know not in a disrespectful way but you know just saying certain things and stuff like that man it's, that's disrespectful and the main thing i always tell them is don't disrespect your husband you know what i'm saying and i'll also say you know you wouldn't do that or say that if your husband was here man so i always try to keep you know their husbands in their mind to get uh, me off their mind you know but that's just a test you know from the heavenly father man but he that slow to anger is better than the mighty and he that ruleth his spirit than he that taketh the city man you know so that's one of the key pluses of being in this truth is learning how to uh rule over your spirit man not let the flesh uh completely take over the spirit man you know that's a, a beautiful uh attribute that we gain while being in this truth man let's get uh Let me see here. Let me get uh, Ecclesiastes. Matter of fact, let me get Sirach. Book of Sirach 15. I'm going to read 1 through 7. This is he that feareth the Lord will do good, and he that hath the knowledge of the law shall obtain her. It's talking about Sophia, that wisdom. And as a mother shall she meet him and receive him as a wife married to a virgin. With the bread of understanding shall she feed him and give him the water of wisdom to drink. He shall be stayed upon her and shall not be moved and shall rely upon her and shall not be confounded. She shall exalt him above his neighbors and in the midst of the congregation shall she open his mouth and he shall find joy and a crown of gladness and she shall cause him to inherit an everlasting name. But foolish men shall not attain unto her, and sinners shall not see her, man. You know, so the foolish men that I was speaking about earlier, which I was one of them, because I went through it too, you know, going crazy, not crazy, but, you know, just not in the right mind, the, the right state of mind or the right spirit over losing a woman, you know. That would never happen now. Now, I don't want to, you know, Lord willing, it doesn't happen. I'll say it that way, you know. But I don't know, I, honestly, I don't believe that'll ever happen again. Because, you know, you know now that these women, they ain't virgins for one. They've been with multiple uh, men for two. And um, for the most part, you know, a lot of these women are out for themselves. And it'd be a rare find to find a woman that will put you before her and not every instance but you know in some instances but she'll put you before her that's hard to find man you know i've never had that you know but there are good women out here you know <laughs> i just i i ain't never really met one before <laughs> i'm gonna keep it a buck um but yeah man you can't be going crazy over these women man and plus you know, soon when uh, Isaiah 4 to 1 comes to pass, you know, we're going to have to be beating these women off with a stick. You know, Lord willing, we are, the, we are those men, you know, that women run to for guidance and protection because we have that protection and that, that hedge from the Lord, man. 
you know? So that time will come as far as dealing with, uh, you know, dealing with chicks. That's why it's really not even an important thing or, or something to even think about. The Lord brings a woman before you, you know, that's a good thing. But if not, it's nothing to stress about, man. You know, just keep, you know, living your life and doing what you're doing. And, uh, you know, eventually something, something nice may uh, come your way, man. You know? Let's get 2 Samuel. I'm going to end it with this right here. Uh, 2 Samuel 12. Let's get 2 Samuel 12. Because even our king, King David, went out of his wits for a woman. You know? So it happens to the best of us. And it says, Wherefore hast thou despised the commandment of the Lord to do evil in his sight? Thou hast killed Uriah the Hittite with the sword and hast taken his wife to be thy wife. Yeah. Because, you know, he had him uh, sent out the battle and killed, you know, so he can be with his wife, man. You know, she must have been super beautiful, man. You know, but the scriptures also say don't, you know, look upon uh, the beauty of a woman, man. You know, because uh, you never know what lies beneath, man. That beauty could just be something uh, that's hiding something uh, far worse uh, within. You know, there's a lot of uh, beautiful demons out here, man. And it says, and has taken his wife to be thy wife and has slain him with the sword of the children of Ammon. Now, therefore, the sword shall never depart from the house because thou hast despised me and has taken the wife Uriah, the Hittite, to be thy wife. Thus saith the Lord, behold, I will raise up evil against thee out of thine own house. And I will take thy wives before thine eyes and give them unto thy neighbor, and he shall lie with thy wives in the sight of the sun. Right? And this is crazy because, you know, this this is went went down with that right there. His own son uh, was sleeping with his concubines on the roof for all Israel to see. His son Absalom. And so uh, it says, I'm not going to read the whole account, but it says, So they spread Absalom a tent upon the top of the house. And Absalom went in unto his father's concubines in the sight of all Israel, man. You know, so that's something that the Lord uh, definitely doesn't like. That was uh, uh, pretty much um, uh, pretty much, a, you know, adultery almost, you know. He got killed the man, took his wife, but the Heavenly Father forgave him, you know. He forgave David what he did but he still had to pay for it and this is how uh you know he paid for it right here man you know which you know probably definitely hate uh hurt it uh hurt david you know and uh yeah man the heavenly father gets down like this man but I, you know i'm all over the place with it but the main the main theme of, of the lesson here is don't go out of your wits for a woman you know, when when something leaves out of your life, it only makes room for something better to come into your life, man. You know, there's no need to go out of your wits for a female. And always remember, they outnumber us on the earth anyway, man. There's more women than men. So, there's no need to <laughs> drive through a damn mall, you know, potentially hurting or killing somebody or even killing yourself. Because you mad because she left you. You know? It's crazy. You know? And like I said, I know that was probably a, a, a heathen. You know? But I've seen plenty of Israelites go through it uh, over broads, man. Okay? So I just wanted to bring this quick lesson out. Lord willing, it was edifying. I want to say shalom to the next one.